as far as coming up and assuming I am in cahoots with one of our code enforcers because he lives on our block, my block, is so out of hand, ludicrous and low. Now, my next door neighbor is a police detective on our department. Three doors down from me is a fire person on our department. Across the street is a public works department person. Now, and we have many more people in that subdivision that work for this village. So I suppose I was in cahoots and responsible for getting all these people their jobs. Now I know where you're getting your information from. And it stems, ladies and gentlemen, off of President Sardo's blog site. And he has control over it. He reviews and he releases all this misinformation and all these lies. President, um, Manager Anderson, may I ask a question of a staff member again, please? Yes. And Cindy McCammick, Ms. McCammick, I have a question, and I do apologize for this. This is becoming regular at the board meetings because someone can't be put in their place. Did I have anything to do with hiring this individual? No, <clears throat> excuse me, no you did not. Thank you, and I apologize for that. And you know, it's really funny because it just so happens, you know, I guess my sixth sense just really works well for me. I was, I regularly look at Iggy Botts' blog, and I look at the CAN site because it is full of gross misinformation, lies, and terrible, terrible comments unbecoming a president sitting in that seat. I will read you. This was posted. Trustee Sigwell, that's no, not my No, no, you told me this site. is my turn and I have the floor. I'm just saying that's not my site. Well, improving Carpentersville part two, get to know about Carpentersville, that's your site. That's, you said can site. Well, I said I, I don't, please don't interrupt me. I'm I just, said I view both those I'm just, sites. I'm just correcting you. can look you, at the all. DVD. On August 2nd, 2008 at 11.59 p.m., Mr. David Reese, who we all know is tied at the hip with Sardo. Code enforcement has been a problem in the village for a very long time, he writes. It is almost as if these code enforcement officers do not have the proper training, and I know a few of the most recent additions to community development staff could be considered political hires because of these connections to trustee Judy Sigwald. So that could be a problem. Consistency and fairness is a huge problem. Keep getting your information from this Yahoo. He doesn't even know what he's talking about. Then he goes on. Trustee Kay Teeter, who also is a member of the Improvement Committee, has multiple violations on her home that are not being enforced. I personally spoke with Director of Community Development, Cindy McCammick, on the subject about three years ago, and I was informed that Teeter had a file an inch and a half thick. The fact that she even had a file and nothing was being done about it is enough to make anyone suspicious. Director McCammick, again, and I do apologize. Did you have this conversation with Mr. Reese and did you tell him this information? I can't remember. Okay. Can we get her on the mic on that one? What about the file? Can you I, I don't remember. I don't can you recall. produce the file? Uh, for? Ms. Teeter's inch and a half thick file. Can you produce that? I believe that there is a property file in our offices for 990 Berkeley. And is it an inch and a half thick? I do not know. I think Ms. Teeter uh, should be seeing that and is aware of that. And I would like to see it also if Trustee Teeter gives me permission. Now going on, August 5th at 106 a.m. in the morning. These people have no lives. Mr. Reese says, I think it's funny that you try to compare a gazebo in a park that is owned by the village of Carpentersville and was damaged in a storm to the numerous code violations Trustee Kay Teeter has on her home. And many of the violations go back several years, as if to justify Teeter's laziness in some twisted way. Boy, that is weak. You know, President Sardo, you allow this garbage on your 
website. You do not investigate to see if it is true. You just allow your little minions to go out there and say and do what they want, not only attacking staff each board meeting, but attacking us also. Now, I just want it clear that this man is allowing this. Remember that in the next election. Um, and <clears throat> I do believe that that is all. And ladies and gentlemen, I will keep everyone up to date. I'll make copies out of my own pop pocket. Every time this man comes forward with his lies, getting them off of his website, the president's, and spewing them. And we wonder why Carpentersville has the image it has. The man in the head seat is allowing it. Thank you.